the sun goes down on Vegas country, 95.5 KWNR. When the sun goes down on Vegas country, it's going to be colder than it is now. Tomorrow, tonight's supposed to be really cold. Great. We could probably be in the 30s tonight. Oh, that's fun. Good thing I sleep at night. <laughs> it's good sleeping <laughs> weather. 720 right now. You've got Mark and Natalie. Uh, joining us uh, this morning on the, on the line, where was she rated on the uh, sexy list? Four? Number three. Three. Right below Reba. We'll tell her that. Uh, it's Carrie Underwood who joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Carrie. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You should be good. You got a brand new album coming out. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Good luck. I hope this one could sell some copies considering the other one really didn't do real well. I know. I Man. Mean, trying to make up for the last song. Yeah, right. So it comes out on a Tuesday. It's called Play On. This is the third one. And uh, we've been playing Cowboy Casting over here for... Um, for a little bit of time. I think we even had a copy of it that wasn't quite official, but um, <laughs> you. I know. So uh, well, give us a, an example of some of the other songs that are going to be on here, because there's, what, 12 songs? There's 13. Okay. Lucky number 13. Um, I mean, the, the whole album, just it's like every song is completely different, but it all fits together. Um, and I feel like this is definitely my most versatile album yeah, and I, I feel like I've really taken a step forward as an artist and as a songwriter and gotten more comfortable with myself as a songwriter and you know, over the half over half the album is from from my lips and my, my fingers typing away on a on a computer. So it, it means a lot to me and I really hope that people get it and people like it. Now we got the CMAs coming up again. You're gonna be hosting that again this year with Brad. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm sure that that's always exciting when you're out there with that guy. <laughs> oh, he's great. Yeah. He's great. And, you know, obviously, I, I was, of course, keeping my fingers crossed that, you know, they'd ask us to come back. And they did. So yeah. This one, this year will be better. Than now, you, you could also win the Female Vocalist of the Year again for the fourth time. We're rooting for you. Thank you. And the uh, musical event of the year. Now, I got to tell you, I was at the, we had, Randy Travis was here, what was he here, about a month ago? Yeah, not too long ago. And, uh, of course, you know, there's a lot of Randy Travis fans that were there. But when he started playing I Told You So, I think more people, and, and I'm not saying anything bad against Randy's version, but I think more people knew that song because you did it. Uh-huh. In fact, he even, he even acknowledged, he says, you know, Carrie Underwood did a pretty good version with this one. Pretty good version of this. Crowd song. went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, um, you know, I mean that's that's a pretty that'd be a pretty awesome thing when a guy like Randy Travis is doing stuff like that. Oh yeah, I mean he he's such a great person, and he's really somebody that you know we should all like model our careers after because he still does what he loves, and nobody ever has anything negative to say about this man. And I feel so fortunate that I've gotten to know him through singing a song yeah. and letting me sing a song. But um, that just it's a testament to. Him as a songwriter and him as an artist. I mean, 20 years ago, the song was out and the song was number one. Right. And you know, 20 years goes goes by and and here we are again and it's being nominated for song of the year and that's incredible. So I guess we know what's going to be the number one song 20 years from now. You yeah. Never if, know. if things I mean, are working that's out that way. Wonderful because it could be. You know, it would still be just as relevant in 20 years. As it is now. Hey, real quick, too. Tell us about this um, this special you've got coming up on Fox in December. It's a it's going to be a, a variety show. Yeah, it's kind of a Christmas um, variety special, and uh, a couple hours long <laughs> on Fox, um, December seventh. And um, it was just we had a lot of fun with it. I hope people like it. There's some some sketch comedy kind of stuff, which I'm not exactly known for, but I think we managed to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it, it was it was a lot of fun. Speaking of comedy, I think that you should prank Brad Paisley at the CMA Awards. He wouldn't expect it, would he? No. He gets everybody. Yeah. If you he need our help, it. you he, need... He never pranked me when we were on the road. Well, if you need our help, you let us know, because we'd love to get him. I might. I bet everybody would. Everybody's like, out to get Brad. All right. Well, good luck with the CMAs coming up here in just a couple of weeks. And uh, how about another tour? Are you going to be planning on coming through Vegas again? Oh, I'm sure. I know we've got a, a tour lined up for next year, and we're we're working all the details right now. But I couldn't see us putting on a tour without you know. All right. Without stopping in Vegas. We'd love for you to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Cowboy Casanova and the uh, the new album comes out on uh, Tuesday. It's called Play On. We're gonna play Cowboy Casanova right now. Good to talk to you, good Carrie. You too. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You got it, Carrie Underwood on Vegas Country 95.5 KWNR. You better take your